choices. Maybe Mr. Robot's right. That's what this is all about. The yeses and nos of life. But do we decide them, or do they decide us? What is it about society that disappoints you so much? Oh, I don't know. Is it that we collectively thought Steve Jobs was a great man, even when we knew he made billions off the backs of children? Or maybe it's that it feels like all our heroes are counterfeit. The world itself is just one big hoax. Spamming each other with our running commentary bullshit masquerading as insight, our social media faking as intimacy. Or is it that we voted for this? Not with our rigged elections, but with our things, our property, our money. I'm not saying anything new. We all know why we do this, not because Hunger Games books makes us happy, but because we want to be sedated. Because it's painful not to pretend. Because we're cowards. Fuck society. The largest conglomerate in the world. They're so big, they're literally everywhere. A perfect monster of modern society. The E might as well stand for evil. In fact, after a thorough intensive self-reprogramming, that's all my mind hears sees or reads when they pop up in my world. Together, we can change the world with evil. Evil Corp. That's what they are. A conglomerate of evil. And now I have to help them. Sometimes I dream of saving the world. Saving everyone from the invisible hand. One that brands us with an employee badge. The one that forces us to work for them. The one that controls us every day without us knowing it. But I can't stop it. I'm not that special. I'm just anonymous. I'm just alone. How do we know if uh, we're in control? No, we're not just making the best of what comes at us and that's it. We're trying to constantly pick between two options. Like your two paintings in the waiting room. Or Coke and Pepsi. McDonald's or Burger King? Hyundai or Honda? Hmm. It's all part of the same blur, right? Just out of focus enough. It's the illusion of choice. And half of us can't even pick our own, our cable, the gas, electric. The water we drink, our health insurance. Even if we did, would it matter? You know, if our only option is Blue Cross or Blue Shield, what the f is the difference? In fact, aren't they, aren't they the same? saying the devil's at his strongest while we're looking the other way like a program running in the background silently while we're busy doing other shit daemons they call them they perform action without user interaction monitoring logging notifications primal urges repressed memories unconscious habits they're always there Always active. We can try to be right. We can try to be good. We can try to make a difference. But it's all bullshit. Because intentions are irrelevant. They don't drive us. Damons do. Damons. They don't stop working. They're always active. They seduce. They manipulate. They own us. And even though you're with me, even though I created you, it makes no difference. 
We all must deal with them alone, the best we can hope for. The only silver lining to all of this is that when we break through, we find a few familiar faces waiting on the other side. And if you can hack the right person, all of a sudden you have a piece of powerful malware. People always make the best exploits. I've never found it hard to hack most people. If you listen to them, watch them, their vulnerabilities are like a neon sign screwed into their heads. Find someone to be your honest self with. Bullshit. My father picked me up from school one day and we played hooky and went to the beach. It was too cold to go in the water so we sat on a blanket and ate pizza. When I got home my sneakers were full of sand and I dumped it on my bedroom floor. I didn't know the difference. I was six. My mother screamed at me for the mess, but he wasn't mad. He said that billions of years ago, the world shifting and oceans moving brought that sand to that spot on the beach, and then I took it away. Every day, he said, we changed the world, which is a nice thought until I think about how many days and lifetimes I would need to bring a shoe full of sand home until there is no beach, until it made a difference to anyone. Every day, we changed the world. But to change the world in a way that means anything, that takes more time than most people have. It never happens all at once. It's slow. It's methodical. It's exhausting. God can help you. That's how a God does. He helps. Tell me. Why didn't God help my innocent friend who died for no reason while the guilty roam free? Okay, fine. Forget the one-offs. How about the countless wars declared in his name? Okay, fine. Let's skip the random meaningless murder for a second, shall we? How about the racist, sexist phobia soup we've all been drowning in because of him. And I'm not just talking about Jesus. I'm talking about all organized religion. Exclusive groups created to manage control. A dealer is getting people hooked on the drug of hope. His followers, nothing but addicts who want their hit of bullshit to keep their, their dopamine of ignorance, addicts, afraid to believe the truth, that there's no order, there's no power, that all religions are just metastasizing mind worms meant to divide us so it's easier to rule us by the charlatans that want to run us. All we are to them are our paying fanboys of their poorly written sci-fi franchise. <laughs> if I don't listen to my imaginary friend, why the fuck should I listen to yours? People think their worship some key to happiness. That's just how he owns you. Or even I'm not crazy enough to believe that distortion of reality. <laughs>